Yeah, no problem, no problem, thanks for having us. Uh, how are you settling into Sligo, I suppose, under restrictions? It's probably different than settling into any other club before. Yeah, no, it's it, it's been good. Um, obviously some beautiful places in Sligo. I've got myself out to like Strand Hill and Ross's Point and all. Um, obviously with the restrictions, you can only do so much. But um, hopefully now in the near future, it will be um will be lifted and probably soak up the atmosphere of Sligo and people of Sligo and stuff, you know. Um, just in terms of the signing, would you say would Liam have had a big role in your signing after having previous success under him at St. Pat's? Um, yeah, no, look. Sligo's a massive club, and um, I know over the last few years things probably haven't gone as planned. There's probably been a lot of chopping and changes, either with that be players or managers. And um, I think obviously with Liam being here for the last one, two or three years, and um, bit of solidarity there. Um, and obviously finishing so well last year, finishing fourth, getting Europe. But um, no, he would have been a big factor as well. And um, obviously having success with him and knowing the way he operates, and he knows the way I operate. And um, I think every year. In the last five, six years, he's rang probably every year when he's in a job to see what I was doing and what my plans were for that year. So, um, yeah, it would have been a big factor. Like I said, I, I like the way Liam wants to set out, set, set out his teams, how to play football, trying to play football in the right way. So, um, I think he'd be good for me and I'd be good for him, hopefully, yeah. You mentioned Europe. Uh, what skills would you say yourself that uh, you can bring to Sligo Rovers? Obviously, your European experience and your pedigree in terms of winning competitions, cups and leagues goes, goes without saying. What do you think you can bring to the Sligo Rovers team? Um, well, look, obviously Liam brought me up here. I uh, have certain characteristics. Um, I just, like, like I said, trying to get the ball off the back four, trying to get the team up the pitch, getting playing. Um, obviously, I think I have a few leadership skills with the experiences I have. Maybe rub off on a lot of lads. I've uh, been lucky enough to play in two big games over the years, over the career, whether that be Europe and the Sligo Cup finals and stuff. Um, but other than that, just like Liam, like he said, he's, he brought me into um, Trying to destroy him on the dressing room. He wants to kick on the gig here. He wants to uh, improve on last year. Um, and you can see with the rest of the signings that he brought in as well. Uh, some very good signings with the group that's already here. I still think he's trying to bring in one or two more. Um, but me, just hopefully good performances. Um, and yeah, basically that's it. Good performances. Trying to drive on the team, trying to lead the team best I can and just pass on my experiences. And but for, most of all, most importantly, is play well and I think he knows the way I play and what kind of player I am so and um, please God it goes well yeah. And how do you think you'll find obviously given the situation in the world and the country at the minute there's no fans without in stadiums because I've been in stadiums before with yourself and for the team you're playing with you can give an awful a massive lift to your team whether it's a tackle you have that kind of drive and determination about you is that something that kind of will take away from your game with there being no crowd or is it just something that all players have to rise to? Yeah, obviously it's a lot different, isn't it? With no fans, and um, I don't, I don't think it's the same. Like you said, um, that extra running that extra yard with the crowd in their back and making tackles and stuff like that. But um, look, last year obviously I had an injury, so I kind of I haven't really played in um, in that kind of environment. Uh, I've been watching a lot of games from the stand, still shouting onto the pitch to the lads. Um, they're not very good at watching games, to be honest. I'd rather be out on the pitch. But um, no, it is it is a big factor and. Please God, we can uh, we can get him back back in as soon as possible because it's a massive. I always found it here, especially coming to Sligo, being on the opposition team, and uh, found it really hard. I don't think I've ever played well up here, <laughs> but uh, hopefully that can t change now. Yeah. But um, but like like I said, it's a big factor to the team having the crowd coming out and lads lads and fans rowing you on. And like but like I said, hopefully in the near future we can get him back back into the into the stands and then um, drive the team on because it's, I think it's an exciting team being put together and then um, it'd be a shame not to not to not to see it you know in the in the flesh but um yeah, yeah. you mentioned uh, the injury that happened last year obviously there, there's not, nothing good to come from an, an injury but if you were to take the good from the bad did it suddenly give you a new kind of determination to say well look I'm Greg Bowser I'm back I'm going to be better than ever yeah, no, look, I've, I've been very lucky over my career with, with injuries. I haven't really had a bad injury. Yeah, you've had a few niggles, a few twisted ankles here and there, but um, I've been very lucky now um, with injuries. So, like, look, it was a case where it was a sickener, sickener for me, and um, obviously it broke my leg. So it was a case where we weren't sure what way it would go, what way it would be. But, um, no, everything was fine. I had a little operation. Got a plate and six screws in. Um, I was thinking, right, I was obviously getting the injury at so, so late in my career, at my age, I was thinking, right, could this be it? Obviously, them doubts are in your mind, but um, it was a case where, right, this is it, this is what it is, this is what has to be done, 
I'm going to do it and uh, get through it. And look, I've uh, it's obviously there was a few dark days. Don't get me wrong, where I was doubting things and stuff, where you think I shouldn't be here or whatever. There was um, there was no really time frame on it. We had to kind of just take it as as it came and see how it went. And um, maybe last year, maybe I kind of rushed it back. I think the last, obviously, I think it was out for four or five months. And I think the last, the first game I played was against Ligo in the semi-final coming on against Ligo. Maybe a bit rushed, but um, we were down bodies as well at Shamrock Rovers at the time. So, but me being me, I wanted to get back on the pitch. I probably wasn't fully fit. I was kind of worried about my fitness and stuff. But, um, but no, once you get on the pitch, the adrenaline came, you know what I mean? So... Uh, <laughs> But yeah, look, it was a hard road, but um, it was one where I thought, right, this is a new challenge. Let's uh, let's let's head uh, hit, uh, head on and, and see where we go. And look, touch wood, it's uh, it's gone well, and um, I've been I've been fine. I've been training myself in the off season. What we've done three weeks now, no issues. Done every minute of training. So um, yeah, so just touch wood, and um, it keeps going well. I have no issues. So I'm just I'm just ready to go. And a good start last week in your your first game. Good a good win in the first preseason friendly. How'd you find it? Yeah, it was good. Look, we've obviously been on the training pitch. Obviously, we're doing a bit a lot of hard work, but um, we've been trying to do things in the training and then implement them in the games. And I felt we did. Look, it's the first game. Some lads played 90, some lads played 45. But um, no, it was good. It's good to get back out on the pitch. Probably, like I said, it was probably the first game I started in a good few months. So I had a little buzz and little butterflies in something again. Mad to get out onto the pitch, shouting and roaring. But um, <laughs> no, it was good. It went really well. Um, like I said, it's just about getting minutes in, in into the tank and uh, getting these, getting through these few ne- or next few weeks and getting the games in and getting ready for the season. Big one.